So I know you're listening to this right now and saying, oh, the music sounds a bit different. If y'all are familiar with my Petty Pendergrass videos, I switch the theme up depending on what demographic I'm going after. Of course, if it's, if it's um, black people, palm color people, they get the same theme. But when it's Asian people, they get this theme. And if it's a Hispanic person, they get another theme. So, you know, I just kind of keep it more interesting. So for many of you, this is the first time you're actually hearing this music. So enjoy it as I go through this story. So in this picture, you see Andrew Yang. And before I go any further, shout out to Adrian Thomas for sending me the link to the story. So, Andrew Yang, Mr. I'm going to go and clap and tap my foot up in the church while wearing an oversized robe, Andrew Yang. Another panderer to black people, Andrew Yang. Because he has just recently dropped out of the presidential race. And how much you want to bet it's probably the same thing that did Cory Booker and Kamala Harris. And, and that was probably the lack of funds. I don't know what it is, but we about to read this article and find out. Andrew Yang, a New York businessman who unusual presidential campaign rose to prominence with a plan to give Americans $1,000 a month, is dropping out of the Democratic race. Initially seen as a long shot candidate, Yang, I'm sorry, Yang used a savvy social media strategy to garner legions of devoted followers who refer to themselves as the Yang Gang. Addressing the supporters in New Hampshire on Tuesday night, Yang said, while there is great work left to be done, you know I am the math guy, and it is clear tonight from the numbers that we are not going to win this race. I am not someone who wants to accept donations and support in a race that we will not win. So tonight, I am announcing I am suspending my campaign for president. Yang, age 45, launched his bid for the presidency in late 2017. A lawyer turned entrepreneur author of a book called The War on Normal People, Yang appealed to voters by warning of the ills of technology including automation and artificial intelligence. Yang's plan for a universal basic income, the $1,000 a month check that he dubbed the Freedom Dividend, served as a bedrock for his larger vision for fixing a society deeply sickened by capitalism. Democrats still have not asked themselves the hard questions as to how Donald Trump won in 2016, Yang said in December. The party is acting like Trump is the cause of all of our problems. He is a symptom and we need the cure to an underlying disease. Mental health was among his top campaign priorities and he often talked about suicide and substance abuse crisis in America. The lone candidate of color remaining on the December and February debate stages, Yang frequently joked about Asian American stereotypes faced by his community. After he qualified for the first Democratic presidential primary debate last June, Yang said he was hoping he could stand next to former Vice President Joe Biden so the country can Google who's the Asian man next to Joe Biden, and then they will discover Andrew Yang. The merry father of two made a bit of an odd history by showing up with a nationally televised debate without a tie, a look he repeated as he kept hitting on the fundraising and polling thresholds to qualify for subsequent debates as numerous well-known politicians kept falling out of the race. He also used some reality show type flair for September's presidential debate, promising something big and unprecedented. In his opening statement, Yang announced my campaign is now going to give a freedom dividend of $1,000 a month to 10 American families for an entire year. Someone watching this at home right now. It's original. I'll give you that, said the next candidate to speak, Pete Buttercup. In addition to his fan base online, his supporters would often show up at events wearing math hats, a reference to his slogan, Make America Think Harder. Yang also pulled in a number of celebrity endorsements, including comedian Dave Chappelle, Tesla founder Elon Musk, and actor Donald Glover. A senior advisor to the Yang campaign told NBC News the timing of his departure was also built on math. At the end of the day, the American people and the Democratic electorate are scared, and they're looking for a comfortable answer to the question, what is it going to take to beat Donald Trump? I'm really proud of the fact that I'm activated I've activated and energized many people that are new to politics, he told reporters this week. I don't think they're going anywhere. I think that we can beat this movement that keeps on pushing until we actually get some solutions across the finish line. Earlier Tuesday, Yang hinted at a future run in 2024. 
As long as the problems are still there, I'd like to help solve them. He says, so certainly I'm very opening, open to running again, if that's the best way to serve. Well, another one bites the dust. They just keep on falling down, falling down. I think many of the Democrats at this point are, are going to have to just face the facts that 45 is most likely going to get reelected, especially after that stunt that they pulled with the whole impeachment thing and how he got acquitted. That's not a, that wasn't a good look for them at all. That was just a waste of time and resources and taxpayers money. And a lot of people are turning away from the Democrats, especially black people, because we finally figured out what they're about. And like I said, that pandering that he did um, when he was in that black church and he had that robe on and he was up there trying to look like a member of the choir. That was one of the most cringeworthy images i had ever seen and did andrew yang say he was going to do anything specifically for black people or was he going to be or was he like but uh pete buttercup and kamala harris and cory booker and the rest of them something tells me that you know he fell in the same